Now that I've created my planes for my lofted bottle, I need to create the sketches on each of the planes for managing the profiles of this loft feature. So I'm going to start off with the top plane, right click on the top plane and go to new sketch. Then I can get normal to the sketching plane. And now I'm going to add a center rectangle at the very middle of the sketch. And then add smart dimensions, which will constrain the rectangle. I will add smart dimensions of 3.5 for the length. And then 2 for the width. I'm also going to add fillets here because most of the time with lofted features, it's better to add the fillets inside the sketches so that when you create the loft, the loft is going to follow the, the fillets to make a smooth curvature. So I'll go to the sketch fillet. This is a sketch fillet and then put in a fillet radius of 0.5 and then click all four of my corners of my center rectangle. I can confirm this. And re remember with sketch fillet you have to press the green check mark twice. First time is for your initial radius. The second time is if you want to add more radii. My sketch is fully defined and now I can exit my sketch. Because the loft requires multiple sketches, I need to exit my sketch here to go and create a new sketch. So there's my first sketch on the top plane. I'm going to go for my second sketch on plane 1, the, sec the second plane. I'll start a new sketch. And then here I'm going to do a center rectangle as well. So I'm going to go to center rectangle. I'm going to start off in the center and this time I'm going to click my corner point so that it is coincident with the diagonal line from the first sketch. You see how when I hover over the diagonal line I get a yellow box that has a coincident relation in, in it? This implies that when I click it's going to automatically add that coincident relation. So I'll click and lo and behold, I get the coincident relation between this corner point and the diagonal line. Now what I'm going to do is add a smart dimension to the length, which will be 2.5. And this fully defines a sketch because of this coincident relation here with the corner and the diagonal line. I also need to add 0.5 radius fillets to this sketch. And these fillets look a lot bigger on this sketch because the rectangle is a lot smaller. So then I'll confirm my fillet. And there is my fully defined sketch. It's fully defined with a two and a half inch length and with a coincident relation between the corner point and the diagonal line. Alright, so now I can exit this sketch. And there's my second sketch. I need to add a third sketch on plane 2. So I'll go to plane 2, start a new sketch. And for, and for this sketch, all I need to do is convert the entities of my very first sketch. So I'll go to Convert Entities, which is on the Sketch tab, Convert and Convert Entities. And I'm going to go to the Feature Manager Design Tree Flyout, fly it out with the little triangle, and then click on my first sketch, which here it's Sketch 7. I've practiced this a couple times. So I'll click on Sketch 7 because that's my first sketch in my model and here I see sketch 7 appears in the entities to convert I hit the green check mark and it brings those entities up into this sketch this is really nice because if I change anything about the first sketch 
those changes will update in this sketch. This sketch is directly linked now to my very first sketch. So this is fully defined now. I can exit the sketch. And there is my third sketch. Now for my fourth sketch, I'll right click on plane three, go to new sketch. And for this one, I'm just going to have a circle. I'm going to click on the center point. I know I'm on the center point by that little ye yellow coincident box. And then I'll go up and I'm going to be tangent to this top line of the small rectangle. Now notice that a tangent relation appears, but it's in a white box, not a yellow box. This means that a tangent relation will not be added automatically. I'm going to have to add that manually on my own. So I'll, I'll, I'll click, and now I know I have to go up to Add Relation. And with the arc, or with the circle already selected, I can just click on the top line of the small rectangle sketch, and then click Tangent. Now confirm this. And I will exit the sketch because that sketch was fully defined. Here are my four sketches that I'll use for the loft feature.